My name is Casey Sherwood, the K stands for Kim. I'm the author of Midnight at Moonglow's, a middle grade adventure novel. I started writing my first book only a few years ago, uh, in about 2009. Uh, I was pregnant with my daughter at the time and home from work, so I decided why not try to write a book. Before that, it had only been short stories or poems, and it never even crossed my mind to write a book before. I wanted to write something fun and adventurous that would make kids want to read and get them excited about reading. It follows 12-year-old Casey Parker. She doesn't have a lot of friends. Her books are her friends. And she also has a bit of trouble with the school bully. But when her great uncle Walter moves, moves back to town and takes over this mysterious little bookshop called Moonglows, her life completely changes. Um, she finds that when she goes in there to read at night, she can literally go into any story she reads. Um, but there are rules she has to follow, one being that if she's not out by midnight, she'll be stuck in the book forever. But I'm not going to tell you the ending. You'll have to read it to find out what happens. I started researching companies on the internet and there were a lot of them. Uh, I had no idea which ones to go with, which ones to trust. Some of them look sketchy. and then. In my Writer's Digest newsletter, in my email that you get weekly, I saw this ad one day for a new company they were starting called Abbott Press, and it was a self-publishing company, and I knew immediately that's where, the way I wanted to go, because I trust Writer's Digest, and when I looked at their packages, I just knew that's what I wanted, because so much comes with it. They helped me with everything from editing to cover design to marketing to social media setup, so I was very happy I went with Abbott Press. Receiving the mark of quality means everything to me because I think it's what most writers yearn for is to have your work recognized because our books are like our babies. We put our hearts and souls into them and when someone finally says, hey, this is good and actually gives you an award for it, it's indescribable. And especially for me, being self-published, it means that much more because after being rejected dozens and dozens of times, it just proved that I made the right decision. Then I found out that the publisher of Writer's Digest actually read it and wanted to know if I was writing a sequel because I left him with a cliffhanger at the end and I was speechless because usually you think some employees in some other department might read it, but the actual publisher, I was on cloud nine to say the least. I would tell any authors who have reservations about self-publishing to throw those reservations out the window because the publishing world has changed and self-publishing isn't looked at like it used to be. A lot of well-known authors are choosing to self-publish nowadays and especially if you're an unknown, it might be your only way in. If you want to try the traditional route to try and get an agent or to try and get a traditional publisher, then go ahead and try it. But if you're getting rejected, it's not necessarily because your work isn't good enough or you're not good enough. It's just the way it is nowadays. So don't give up on it and seriously consider self-publishing. There is another book in my future. It is book two. Casey is basically going on a journey to find the source of the magic of the bookshop because she has to rescue someone. And that's all I will say. Okay.